I'll start off. Jake, I, I, I read that when you committed to Oregon State, it was a lot to do with culture and just how the locker room kind of felt. Similar process here at Pitt? Very similar. And yeah, I mean, that kind of was the biggest reason why I chose Pitt was just the atmosphere that you could feel, not only in the city, but just within the locker room. Um, it was a really good culture, and you could feel that just from the moment stepping in this facility. Yeah, I knew on my visit they kind of spoke about the offense that they were, you know, going towards, and obviously it's a really exciting offense. Um, for a tight end, it's a great opportunity to be able to to get some some opportunities in the pass game, um, and that's that's obviously great. Every offense wants to score a lot of points, so I'm excited to do so. You feel like you have, I think you caught maybe like eight passes or something in Oregon State. You feel like you have more you can give in that that part of the game, not just blocking, getting out and catching passes. Yeah, I did. I did. I was in a primarily blocking role at Oregon State, like you said, but. That's you know part of the reason why I'm here. I know that I have more to showcase, and I just need the opportunity to do so. So I'm really excited to do so this fall. Taking most of the season, what's your anticipation level to get back out on the field again? Yeah, I mean when you're when you spend time away from what you love doing, um, it just makes you more hungry, more eager to get out back get back out there. So. I'm really excited to get back out there, and uh, my expectation levels are high not only for uh, myself but this whole team. What is it about the team? Why do you have high expectations? What do you, do you well, I mean, the last the last three weeks we've been been together working out in the weight room um, with Coach Stack, and we've been able to really bond as a team. and And I think the off season is a really big opportunity to be able to kind of take a sneak peek into what you're gonna expect in the fall. And like I said, I'm, I'm expecting a lot from this team. What's Gavin been like uh, just in your early impression working out? Yeah, well, Gavin's a great kid, as I'm sure all you guys know. Um, he's been a great leader in the room and a great leader at uh, the offense and as well as just the team in general. So he's been, uh, it's been good to get around a guy who has experience here um, at Pitt and being able to kind of look at how he does things and try and pick, him, pick up and learn some things from him. What's it like traveling all the way across the country? Yeah, it's a big change. This is my first time on the East Coast, um, so or anywhere just really past, you know, Oregon, California. So it's a big change, uh, but that's a huge part of of what I was, you know, looking for. Is I wanted something different. I wanted a new experience, and Pitt offers that for me. I had some opportunities closer to home, but like I said, I was I was looking to to kind of branch out, have a fresh start, and and get that going here in the ACC and at Pitt. Yeah, it's been a couple of weeks, but he's definitely done a great job, you know, reaching out and getting connected with the tight ends and the specialists, um, making sure that we're comfortable with him and we know what he's expecting from us, and kind of just starting to build that relationship as much as as much as we can. Jake, what did you know about Pittsburgh before you came here? Um, I knew it was cold in the winter. I knew you guys liked your sports. Um, I knew there was some like steel that went on here back in the day, but other than that, that's that's about it. What did you learn? What have you learned about the city in your short time here? I've learned that the biggest thing that I've noticed is the people here are just outstanding. Um, it's a very welcoming uh, city, uh, whether it's you know reporters like you guys, coaching staff, players, people at restaurants, teachers, the whole the whole deal. Everybody's been super inviting, super welcoming, and and I've really appreciated that. Favorite restaurant so far? Um, favorite restaurant so far? Shoot, I mean, the food that we get here at the facility is pretty dang good. I'd say that that compares with, uh, with any of the restaurants I've been to, I'm not going to lie. But I'm excited to get out and try some restaurants. What's it like going, going in portal and not knowing what's going to be happening from there? Yeah, I mean, that's obviously a scary process for anybody. It's, it's you know, if you were to leave your job and not know who's going to pick you up, um, so it's a scary experience. Um, I'm a Christian. I leaned a lot on my faith during that process and really just trusting God and knowing that he had a plan for me and knowing that wherever I did end up, whether it was you know, somewhere out west, somewhere out here, uh, that it was the right spot for me. And that's shown to be true this whole, this whole time. You're in a unique position where uh, as, as you're coming into a new team, but they're also putting in a whole new system with, with their offense, with a new 
coordinator, new coaches. What has that been like, kind of getting in the early stages of that with your teammates as they're used to this building, these people, but you're all new to what you're learning? Yeah, I think it's a pretty unique experience um, being able to you know, learn from vets who have been here, but also we're able to grow together. So I'm really looking forward to, to you know, what the final outcome is going to be this fall. Um, and I think it's going to be really good. A bit of a non-pit related question, but what was it like playing in the Pac-12 knowing that that was that conference this last season? Is that kind of stressful just looking around and saying like, my current team doesn't really have a place to go right now. Yeah, I mean, it was a, you could call it stressful. I would say it's pretty cool. Um, you know, not a lot of kids can say that they were a part of the Pac-12 in the final season. Um, so I kind of look at it that way of, you know, it was, it was a cool experience to be able to be a part of that. And I'm looking forward to now playing in the ACC and, um, and getting to be a part of a program like Pitt with just the history behind it and all that. So we're moving on now, and I'm really excited for that. Is that part of your reason for transfer? That, that played a role. I'd say so, yeah. Back to the portal a little bit. I know there's so much talk about the negative side of things, but from your experience, what would you say were some of the positives that you went through with it? I mean, I'm here. That's, that's the biggest positive. Um, it gave me the opportunity to start fresh, gave me an opportunity to come into a program like Pitt. And um, I mean, that's the biggest positive right there is it gives kids an opportunity to be able to get into a new um, institution, a new athletic department, and be able to showcase their talents on and off the field. Did you, did you learn more than State watching you guys go from 2-5 year to 10 Yeah, well, I mean, the biggest recruiting pitch that they gave me at Oregon State was their culture and what they were planning on doing. And there was just a different feel about it when I was there. I, I believed them. And um, it kind of, you know, over the years, it ended up being true. And it's a very similar feel here. Like the opening question was, you know, about that culture. And um, so I'm excited to, to help turn this program around and be, be a part of that is a really cool opportunity. Jake, I mean, for good fans who don't know about your game, would you just, how would you describe yourself on the field? Uh, on the field, I'd say that I'm, you know, I, I bring experience, I bring leadership, and I bring, um, Technique. I think I'm a real technician on on the field, and that helps me not only in the run game but also in the pass game. Uh, I'm a smart player, and I study study my butt off in order to to pride myself on that. And off the field, I'm a guy who likes to have fun and um, you know represent pit football in any way I can. What were your first impressions of Coach Ron Daisy? Uh, my first impressions of Coach was he's a great guy and that he's a really smart uh, football guy. He seems just like an all-around football guy. He loves his players, and that was evident from our first meeting. And the great part about that is seeing him in the building now that I'm a player and that I've committed, that hasn't changed. Um, seeing that he really does have you know, that care and passion for his players, and that wasn't just something that he talked about while recruiting. Anything else for Jake? Jake. Yes, sir. Thank you, guys.